Welcome everybody to RVT. This is Rashid the R Man coming on live on social media on Google Plus, YouTube, and other social media platforms in conjunction with RMJC. And this is Rashid the R Man once again. And uh how -huh, everybody how's everybody doing? And it's good that you guys could come in and um listen to me just talk shit. It really is. This ain't, y'all know this ain't about nothing. Just, this is just so I could just say something. I don't know. Me and my cult members, my children, we've been relaxing like all day. So now, I just want to come on the end and just, you know. I just want to, don't expect to hear nothing. Treat this like you would treat, like, something from social media you watch it and then you change your mind and just turn it off. Treat this like that. I just want to come on the air, that's all. It doesn't matter if you listen or not. I really don't give a fuck, dude. I really don't. I just want, I just want something to fuck to say. I just want to talk. I know somebody out there is going to sit and listen to the whole fucking thing. That's all that matters to me. Like Christ said, as if, if he found one person dude, listening to the gospel, that's enough for him. If it's enough for him, that's enough for us. Dude. I don't care if you listen or not. I really don't. As long as there's one, I know there's one person out there somewhere listening to So it doesn't fucking matter. Dude. It really doesn't. I'm sitting here eating pretzels. On a Sunday, on a Monday, Memorial Day. And happy Memorial Day to you guys. And, um, the vets died so we can do what we're doing now. Nobody gives a fuck about it. So, I'm not going to waste my words. I'm not, I'm really not. What I'm going to do, though, is live my goddamn life the way they fought. For me to live it. If you don't like it, go to McDonald's and order one of those um, meals. And um, that's it. I don't want to hear that. I'm not white crap. I want to hear that. Let's play it out. Easy girl. Easy girl. Easy girl. <laughs> Easy girl. What? Hold on, let me let her out. That's all who was. I ain't even gonna address it like that. I ain't even got time for that shit. <laughs> if please forgive my audio, cause I might sound like my audio is fucked up, so my my voice might be dragging at times. And again, y'all guys gotta forgive that. I don't give a fuck about that either. I really don't again. Hmm. Hmm, that's alright. I'm wondering if we're gonna find something I really give a damn about on here. This is really, really unique. 
Pax, Pax Ajax type shit. Y'all be winning. Because I don't give a fuck about the audio either. Huh. Go fit. Anyway, um, what I'm going to do is talk shit while I edit. I'm, I, you know, I'm going to edit some shit because I'm... And the best way to get entertainment going if you if you work, like right now, like I'm in the studio and everything, but I, I'm going to work on some shit. What the fuck is that? What the, hold on for a minute. What the fuck is going on out here? All the fucking presidential speeches in the world. Ain't nobody talk about these fucking gorillas. Stupid ass fucking shit. That's why I don't give a fuck about nothing now. Outside act like fucking monkeys. And that's his what his what uh, let me shut up. I ain't even gonna fucking I'm not even gonna address that. I I, don't, I ain't even gonna I don't even give a shit. I don't even care. Anyway. Like I said, I'm going to um, work on some editing stuff while you guys sit back and listen. And that's the end of that shit, man. Eating pretzels. Because they're healthier for you. I guess. And, um, and um, I got some tea. Yeah, go get it. No, I need this little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Simple as jingle Christian stuff. Simple, a child can sing it. I like those little jingles and shit. Very easy to sing type shit. I like that. I like that fucking shit. I like that. So I figure I'll come on the air for a while and just while I'm editing some stuff here. I got some stuff I want to work on. And I wanted to come on the air and do it while I'm going to edit. It makes editing fun when you're just talking like when you know you're being recorded. It makes editing fun. What does this do to me? start with this one. Yeah. I'm making, I'm gonna tell you, I don't know if I, what kind of show this gonna be, but it's gonna be like, I'm gonna just be talking shit. Kind of like I'm doing now, but it's gonna be like spiritual talking. Well, I'm showing a lot of spiritual shit. And I got to get the footage for it. For it. Uh. And I don't know if it's going to be a show. I don't know if it's going to be on RVT. I don't know if it's going to be a picture up. I don't know. I really don't know. Well, it's going to be something, though. You know.
you know, we need each other, man. They don't give a fuck about us. They don't give a fuck about us, dude. I'm telling you the truth, man. Y'all gonna find out one day. They don't give a fuck about us, man. The only thing they give a fuck about is that black man and that white man doing what he want to do. And that Jew man that's behind the curtain doing the sneaky ass shit. That's all the fuck with. And you see they make everybody look, oh, um, Elijah Wood make it, made everybody look stupid. Katie Couric. Elijah Wood and Katie Couric need to get together and laugh. They make everybody, you know, they like making everybody look stupid and shit. That's stupid shit, man. I just don't understand it. I mean, oh. What you get off for making, making, you know, being stupid? What do you gain from it? I don't understand it. Maybe I can, maybe we gotta catch up or something. I'm just saying, sweetie, maybe we gotta catch up or something. Cause I don't, I'm not seeing the point of making somebody look bad. I just, I just don't see the um, what I'ma get from it. What I'ma get? All, I don't understand it. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm stupid. That's why. So anyway, I got the special coming up this week. And y'all guys really gonna like the special, man. We gonna have some fun. And I also got Paper Moon coming up. That you know, that ain't going nowhere. I'm taking my time with that as well as Studio 54 and the Rashi YouTube Radio Show. I'm taking my time with all of that because I don't want to just. I don't know. I don't want to finish it that fast. If you finish it that fast, then you're stuck with ideas in your head. What's next? And what I don't want to go through that shit. I really don't. And I'm not, I'm not gonna go through that shit. I'm not. What's next? What's next? Shit? Nothing fucking next, you know. So, I told you I'm editing right now while I'm talking. So, y'all gotta forgive those little pauses and shit. So... How the fuck he gonna get kicked out of his own church he built? How does that work? If you make a church, dude, they can't kick you out your church if you made if you Well that's what I'm saying, if you make your own fucking church, dude, how the fuck they gonna kick you out of your own church you made? I don't understand that. That's crazy. I don't understand that. That's just crazy,
You know, they kicked this guy out of his fucking shit, man. How's sex going to be a sin? Shit, that's why my fucking church ain't got me up in that bitch. That's for fucking sure. I hate these little skin ass motherfucking organizations to fucking shit. They fucking scared to fuck. It's bad and it's sinful to fuck and shit like that. That's some crazy ass fucking shit, man. I love fucking women too much for that shit. I swear to God. Seven hand sack. You crazy as fuck. gonna be sitting in the fucking dark though if we do that I don't want to sit in the fucking dark this ain't no Bruce Springsteen fucking shit around here dancing in the dark and fucking shit I hate um, editing this shit in this damn studio sometimes fucking sitting in the dark and shit If you come in, the door will be open with this one right now. Y'all should see all these flies on my computer right now. These flies just swarm my computer and shit. I'm telling you Satan and fucking shit. These flies all around my fucking computer and shit. They just came out of nowhere. Exorcist type shit. Fake level and shit. Damn it, darling. Tape it now. I'm ripping this shit now, guys. Okay. So, I'm all into the computer shit, man. I love my fucking social media. I love editing. And I love viewing material. And I just love this shit. Y'all gotta understand. Y'all don't know how much I like this shit, man. Y'all don't realize how much I love social media. Y'all, y'all think y'all know the Rashid the, like social. Y'all don't know. I'm trying to explain to y'all how much I love this shit here. I love it. I fuck. I mean, I really love this shit, man. We do. All of us. Uh. I love it, man. I love it. I love it, love it, love it. Because it gives me a sense of... I get to watch... We get to watch our shit, dude. I get to see Rashid's shit. You know, instead of putting it on my walls or writing it in my notebooks and shit. I don't get to do that anymore. Now I get, I just get... I can view it. We can view it on the screen. And I can let you guys see it. I'm not going to show y'all my, you know, my cult shit. I'm not going to do that. But in a nutshell, I love this because I get to express how I, I get to show out in the open about some attributes about what I believe in. You know, and that fascinates me. That really fascinates me. I guess that's why I like it so much. 
Yeah, in a nutshell, that's why, you know, I, I just dig it. Getting footage for this project. It's like a pro. I got two projects I'm working on. We got two, right? We got this Christian, this religious one, and then we got um, the animation one that we working on. Now this stuff we just work on because we bored and we have like nothing to do, so we just sitting around. And I like to just okay, let's work on a project we working on. So. Just sit, take pictures, edit the pictures and shit like that. It's just, it makes me feel good. It makes me, you know, as so long as I'm into working around something um, tech. long as I'm working around tech and shit. And when, it, when you put religion with it, when you put like your beliefs with it of what you believe and you get to see all this different content on social media of tons of it and you say okay i could use this part i can understand this part and you're working with your video tech and you're getting this part and putting yourself bringing yourself out it's an amazing feeling that shit. it's just an amazing feeling it will be good if you guys could feel this way, like everything that's inside you. You you can bring it out if you want to, man. If you really want to, you can bring it out. But people are scared to bring it out. And that's understandable, man. Because when you, once you speak your mind, you lose your friends. People think you're crazy. And then you are all by yourself and shit. The Rice Krispie bullshit. Sitting with a bowl of Rice Krispies in front of your fucking face. And you ain't got no friends nowhere. And nobody wants to be that motherfucker right there. Nobody wants to be the REM type shit. I'm losing my religion. I think I said too much. Nobody wants to be REM and shit. So everybody just go and play this fucking game. I don't got time to fucking play games. I ain't Parker fucking Brothers. I ain't got time to play games. I ain't Parker Brothers, dude. I'm going to do what I got to do and say what I got to say. You know what I mean? And, and if you don't like it, dude, that's why it's options. Go to that fucking satellite TV bullshit. Go to that fucking shit. No, I don't want to be rude or nothing, but that's what it's there for, man. That's what it's fucking there for. I ain't got time for this shit. I, I gave up that mature talking shit. I gave that all up. Nobody wasn't giving a fuck about me when I was being mature. And the they was treating me like shit when I was being mature. So. They was treating me like shit when I was being a mature individual. They was treating me like shit. So I figured I'd be myself is better. I'd rather be this, man. I'd rather be on social media. Doing our shows. Right, baby. Doing our shows. And we do our shows and mind our business and shit. We don't bother nobody, dude. We don't bother nobody, man. So I'm looking at these cults and shit. It's a documentary about cults. Yeah, it's a documentary about cults. And I'm like, okay, I could do something like this, too. I could work with this. And I'm getting a lot of... Um, and y'all, once again, guys, y'all got to forgive me if the audio is screwed up in this shit. Y'all got to forgive me, dude. I ain't, I, ain't, I ain't get to that fucking microphone shit yet. I love my microphone, you know. 
and I can't get to it right now to fix it. I just can't do it, man. Y'all gotta understand, we on a path here, dude. We on a path, man. We on a, we on a spiritual path around here. Girl, what the fuck you doing out there? Fucking gorillas jumping all over the fucking place. He's staying his dumb fucking ass. Sitting back alone on this fucking shit. You dumb son of a bitch. Making strange fucking noises. As soon as the weather get hot, here come this gorilla primate fucking shit. Stupid ass son of a bitch. Nobody know how to act like fucking people no fucking more. It just bothers me, dude. It fucking bothers me. Somebody supposed to act this shit. Everybody on a journey in life. No matter if you're following man or you following whoever, you're on a journey, dude. And I really hope people that don't like Rashid, I really hope that the the path you the path you're on leads you to your happiness. Cause I damn sure know we're gonna find ours, dude. We're gonna find ours. Ain't no doubt about it, man. So, that's good for us it's good and for y'all I don't know I don't know what path you're on I don't know I really don't y'all y'all just living and that's good I ain't I was there dude I was there I could live you know I was living at one time but I just wanted to just make, I want my life to have meaning and shit. But right now, see, when I was younger, I wanted my life to have meaning. When I was younger, now I really want my life to have meaning. I just do. I just, I just do. I don't want to just be living for nothing and shit. I don't know, it sounds, it sounds, kind of premature, I guess, because I'm not, a lot of scholars, a lot of philosophers will say I'm not thinking practical, when you look at science and the way life was created, I'm not thinking practical, life has no meaning, You, life has a meaning that's living, if we just all spawn from like these, whatever the fuck they say we spawn from, you just live and shit like that. Well, I believe it has to be more. I don't know. You know, I don't know. I, th I just think with an A, it's a B somewhere. You know what I mean? It can't just be an A all over the place without no fucking B, dude. It gotta be a B somewhere, dude. 
Cause shit, they just pop up for no fucking reason. And then, I don't know how man thinks like that, but that's the way he thinks. Shit just pop up out of no. I don't understand it. No, it's it's the reason for every fucking thing, to, you know. And and we just on a journey around here, you know. I just want to just, um, I want to keep swimming this, dude. I really don't give a fuck if it's a dud. I really don't give a damn. Like, some cult, some cults find out that they shit is a dud. Uh, and they can't handle it and they go kill itself. Like that fucking Jones motherfucker. At that Jim Jones motherfucker. He, and all these other cult leaders, they can't handle that. They shit is a dud. And they, they the only way out is killing themselves. Like that um, Heaven's Gate crazy ass shit. And for me, if we ever found out the shit was a dud, dude, if we ever found out that this right here was a dud, we would just keep living. You know why we'll keep living? Because it has to be something. There's no such thing as as something being a dud. Think about it. There's no such thing as that. If you're living and you fuck up like Jim Jones, David Koresh, Apple White for Kevin's Gate, they fucked up and just killed themselves. They wasn't paying attention to the fact they were still living. And in life, you're going to fuck up, you see. So there's no reason to say something is a dud. But but humoring ourselves, making, you know, yeah, yeah, exactly. Giving ourselves a second voice. All right, if we find out this is a dud, it really doesn't make sense, dude, if you're still living. You know, it really doesn't make sense if you're still living, dude. Because as a person, as a being, you're going to make mistakes, dude. I don't give a fuck how great you are. You're going to make mistakes. So, they handled theirs by killing themselves, you see. But they wasn't paying attention to if they're still living. It ha you're still on that course. Of course, you want a course where you fucked up or you made a mistake. This is true, but you're still living, so you're still on the course. The fuck up shit will pass, and when it pass, you're going to see that you're still on the course, dude. Because what's a problem today is not a problem tomorrow, you see. Even if you found out that you got some disease or some kind of some kind of ailment ailment to your thinking or your warp what's a problem today is not a problem tomorrow i'll give you an example of that if you when you was a child dude if when you was a child or younger can you remember any problems that you have any problems right off the back i'm not i'm not saying i mean if you focus in you can say yes but i'm saying right off the back okay case in point right now if if i ask you oh did you have problems when you were younger and a child you will say yes you did you did now can you remember those problems as a child or when you were younger the answer will be no Case in point, look at the here and now, right now, what we're going through right now. The, what's the problem today is not a problem tomorrow. So all these cult leaders who killed themselves and all these religious organizations who, who, who say they was defeated, that's all a lie. They was hallucinating, dude, because what's a problem today isn't a problem tomorrow. So... There can never be Rashi is on a bad course long as I'm alive. You see the point? Long as we're together, I'm talking about cult members now. Long as we're together, there can never be that. There can never be that, dude. It doesn't make sense. Because whatever's here today 
is going to be changed or quote gone tomorrow and that's just the way life is you can't remember what you got angry about last week today unless it's a really big issue then if it's a really big issue then you gotta ask are you still angry like last week of that really big issue today and the answer will be no I will you will say I was angry or more last week with the problem than I think about it today you see that's life every fucking ailment in life disappear as life go on so there can never be an end to your shit when you think about it and that's the way these guys in my opinion should have handled their shit and that's all I got to say about that fucked up ass shit I let y'all hear some of this shit. This shit crazy, yeah. Check this shit. I was lying between two naked women in our camp when I first received the gift of tongues. The one I was making love to would suddenly turn into one of these beautiful goddesses, and I would immediately explode in an orgasm of tremendous spiritual power. While at the same time prophesying violently in some foreign tongue. Imbued with the spirit of the Lord, Berg emerges noisily from his camper. He is wrapped in chains. So he stands in front of everybody, stops, comes to stops, and uh, he goes, looks at everybody very seriously, he goes, This is what the system marriage will do to you. And then he said something like, but Jesus is going to set us free. And he throws the chains off. So everybody goes, hallelujah, thank you, Lord. Newly This guy is fucking nuts, dude. I'm, I'm looking at this because like, I ain't going to say their name or nothing like that. Because I heard they still in operation today, these guys right here. In fact, we, we talked to them. Yeah, we talked to them and we agreed to work with them or some kind of shit we agreed to. Because they still in operation today. They're not prominent the way they are like back in the 60s. They're not. But they still around today, so I'm not going to say their names and shit like that. I'm not. But I'm making this documentary about this religious. It's going to be a bunch of bullshit. And it's going to be, you know that thing that I have on social media. Y'all watch my, um, I talk over Jim Jones corpses when they all on the ground dead. And I talk over they, and I, you hear Rashid, I'm just talking and rambling over pictures of Jim Jones when they killed themselves. All right, this right here is a new show like that, but it's more advanced. It's going to have video in it. It's going to have talking in it. It's going to have, and it's going to just be me rambling on. So I figured while making this, I could just talk to you guys while I'm editing this and getting it together. I could talk to you guys and go on the air so my RVT won't be sitting. And I think it's a good, I think it's a, yeah, it's a good idea we, I'm doing this shit. You know, in, 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 in editing is a pain in the fucking ass, dude. But it was, if you talk, if I'm talking on the air while I'm doing it, I'm found it, it, it makes everything easier for me. You know, it makes everything easier. And it speeds things up, too. Because by the time y'all listen to this, I'll be ready to edit this shit. So the, if I want, I could, while I'm editing this, well, I'm editing it now. I'm getting the footage of editing now, but I could. It's just a cycle. My RVT will never be sitting. You gotta feel what I'm talking about to understand. You know, everything I'm talking about, you gotta feel Rashid to understand it too. Cause Rashid ain't for everybody, guys. Y'all know that. We are losers around here. That's why I wanted to call. That's why I'm calling all downtrodden, spiritually sick individuals. 
people that find no joy in what they trying to thrust upon us on day to day life. I mean, no joy whatsoever. And yet, they're trying to tell us like, this is okay to accept. This is life. Don't tell me what life is, dude. Because the Bible says something different about it. All of these groups and religious groups and cults say something different about it. You, you have to take life for what it is to you, not for what it is, dude. If you want to say, okay, what the media tell me is life is life. If you want that, then you could go ahead. But that's your decision. But it doesn't have to be that way. It doesn't have to be that way. Even in a war-torn country, it don't have to be that way. Because nobody could go inside your brain, dude. Nobody could go inside your brain and make you think a certain way. So even though you're under communist rule or whatever rule, whatever you're going through, they can't get to your brain, dude, or inside your heart. And inside there is when you can live this life which you say should be that befits you and your family or just you you see nobody can get in there and if you allow them to get in there then that means you that's something you want it as individuals we have that choice and nobody can take that from us dude. nobody can take it from us man love for family country state and faith is every it's the qualifications for a strong man those right there a real man will know his spirituality a real man will be conscious of his spiritual spirituality of him and his family and now another thing love of your country what country you live in a real man will love his country dude a real man will appreciate what they what it took for them to to make this country the way it is so you can live your life the way you're living it. A real man will have appreciation for that. See, a real man appreciates and, and benefits from his appreciation. That's what makes a man a man. That's what makes a woman a real woman. But if you just a dog or animal or beast-like, because there's people out here that's beastly, the Bible brings out, then guys, I feel sorry for you because you're just chasing your tail. You're going to act like a real beast, living your life, just chasing your tail around over, just chasing your tail in a circle over and over again. You're not going to go nowhere. You're not, all your accomplishments are going to fail because you have no direction. I swear to God, I'm not shitting you, dude. I'm not fucking with you. I'm not going to bar you down with Jesus bullshit, Jesus talk. And Jesus, God, this. I'm not going to talk that shit because I was in it. I was already, I was in it. And it led me right here to where I'm at today. Now, I have to find out why. That's our struggle around here. That's Rashid and his family struggle. That's our why struggle. That circle y'all see. That's our struggle around here. Finding out why. Finding out why. Why was we led from the Bible to where we are right now. It has to be a reason. And maybe it will lead us back to the scriptures. We don't know. We really don't know. We really don't know. But we have to wait and see. So it's really complicated man. It's really really complicated. I'm not. You know, I ain't trying to recruit nobody. I don't believe in recruiting nobody, brainwashing nobody. Social media is for broadcasting yourself. And I'm going to broadcast myself to the highest degree. And that's all there is to it, dude. See, the Bible say, 
You know how you feel. All right, this ain't with the Bible, but I'm just saying. You know how you feel in your heart about the Lord, Jesus, religion, spirituality. You know how you feel. Rather, it's Satanism itself. You know how it feels. See, the Apostle Paul was in the Satanism. And now he's wanting anointed with Christ Jesus in heaven. But the Apostle Paul started out as Satanism, meaning he was killing Christians. That's what he did. He was killing Christians. Jesus appeared to him. And now he's one of his brothers in heaven right now. That's showing you how, how bad you can be. But still can be a vessel of the Lord. Of God. Apostle Paul is a perfect example of that. And you guys got to understand that. When you look at life in a different way, it's not that bad as what you think it is. See, we're our worst critic, dude. We're our worst critic. I, well, anybody could talk about us like a dog, but nobody can be ourselves if we're talking about ourselves. So we have that responsibility to make ourselves happy. It's just, the question is, are you going to do it or are you not going to do it? You see, that's the question you got to ask yourself. Are you gonna, if you don't, you got to understand your consequences. If you don't do it, that's fine. But you're not going to be happy. You're going to get these periodically happy moments where you're going to get high or you're going to do something, but the happiness is going to wear off. But if your life had direction, dude, I mean real direction, you will have happiness 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. You will never return to like this bottomless pit of just sitting there doing absolutely nothing and waiting. And looking at this shit in the media or wherever saying this is life. You will never return there, dude. Never. You can go there. Like, I still go there, and I dabble in this, and I, why she dabble in that, because I was all, you know, I was there, I was there, dude, I used to work for a newspaper and everything, so I, so I still go there, hang out, and whatever, whatever, but still, I know where my home is, you know, it's good to go Hollywood, but know where your home is, know that you have directions, and that's what my kids, I know, I was about to say, you see, I was about to say, and that's when they put me in my place, because sometimes I go too far in the media, and they gotta come and say, Dad, don't forget, we on the course here. We're not fucking, you know, in the world. And I say, oh, okay, you're right, you're right. And I get put in my place, you know. So I'm just saying, you know, I'm just dropping some fucking shit. You know? I ain't trying to brainwash nobody. I don't brainwash nobody. I, I was always a powerful speaker ever since I was a child, man. I ain't just wake up one day and became this shit, dude. I always talk bullshit. And it's bullshit. I'm not going to sit back and say it's not bullshit. Everything I talk is bullshit. But this bullshit works for Rashid and his people. You see? It's that fucking simple, dude. You can't get no realer than that. I know it's bullshit, but this bullshit works for me and my kids. It's that simple. Damn right.
Never shall forget what she's done for me. Oh, 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 oh what she's done for me. Oh, 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 what she's done for me. Rest in deep, man. I ain't got time for this fucking monkey shit all around me. I don't appreciate it. I don't fucking like it. But this is his country. That's what he wants. And that's what we got to deal with. I don't appreciate this fucking game, dude. But the Bible said one day all this shit gonna come to an end. And lo and behold, we see that shit unfolding. We ain't gonna say a fucking thing. We gonna play the game. We see this shit unfolding. The king is off his throne, dude. We see that shit. And we gonna play this shit all the way through. What the sweet ass on that? Politicians smiling in a bitch face. Do you think I'll go to heaven? Yeah, that's some fucking shit. There gotta be something else out there. Gotta be something else. Gotta be something else, guys. And we are on a path of finding out what it is. These motherfuckers at Heaven's Gate, they think UFOs. It's gonna come, it's gonna take them away. Apple, Apple White. Maybe it worked for them, but we still here. So obviously they was wrong because we still here, dude. Uh. They lost, exactly, they lost. And that's some fucked up ass shit. Jesus was on him and his 12 apostles and shit. They was walking and shit. And when they was on a mission, it's in the Bible, it's in um, the Greek scriptures. It's in the Greek scriptures. Jesus said, Jesus said, come on. He told his apostles to come on. <coughs> so they was walking on a journey. Then they looked across the field and noticed some guy using Jehovah's name. Some people say Allah. And he was healing the sick. And he was expelling demons. And his apostles got real jealous. He said, Jesus, I don't like what he doing. He doing what we, what you doing. He said, let me go over there and whip his ass. Stop him or something. Jesus said, no. Let him keep doing that right there. Because if they not against us, then they for us. And notice what was going on right there. 
this guy ain't had nothing to do with Jesus now. He had nothing to do with the apostles. And yet he was doing the same work Jesus was doing. In a way. In a way. Not exactly the same work. But basically the same thing. Expelling demons and hell. And Jesus' apostles said, I don't like what he's doing. He got jealous. He said, goes, he said no, if they ain't against us, they're for us. So he was saying that. He said that if you had a grain of mustard. Faith. If the grain of a mustard grain. You will do them. Miraculous things, you know. Miraculous things. He's saying that. And obviously, this guy was doing it because Jesus approved his work, even though he wasn't a follower of Christ. Then you have a scripture in the Bible where the Bible, which God speaks of every religious person. On the face of the earth, no matter what religion you belong, religion you belong to, he said, "Get out of Babylon, the great, my people, if you do not want to share with her and her plagues." Meaning, Babylon, the great, is the world empire of false religion. He he called everybody in that his people. They're just in the wrong path of worshiping. He said, "Get out of false religion, my people." You know, if you do not share with her in a place, because she's going to be plagued up. So you look at those two incidences right there. This person is not following Jesus. Okay, he's not following Jesus, but doing these rem rem miraculous things. Then you have people that's not on the right, right faith and God calling them his people. You see. God reads the heart and the mind. He don't give a fuck what you're doing. You may not be on the right path. You're going to be on the wrong path. But see, he's the reader of the heart and mind. So he, he will put you on the right path when the time comes, you see. Now, my Rashid's trouble come in when, because, see, I was on that right path. And now I wind up here. I'm not a fucking loon. I know my love is with the creator, the maker. That's my love. We our love is with life, spirituality. I'm not a fucking loon. Because you gotta be careful because Satan sometimes trans transform himself to an angel of light. See, Satan could, could could transform to God, to an angel and, and fake you out, dude. And even if that's so, God is the examiner. Of the heart. See the scriptures bring out. That never will he allow the righteous one to totter. Never. Will he allow. He don't give up now. After reading that right there. There's nothing else to say. Period. About your lifestyle. Nothing. What possibly can you say. After reading some shit like that right there. Never will he, will he allow. The righteous one to totter. Never. Never. Just like he sent King Nebuchadnezzar out to, to live like a crazy person. Just like he allowed the Apostle Paul to do what he did, kill Christians or whatever. At the right time, he's going to deliver you. It's a time for everything, dude. You see. It's a time for everything. My situation is... I was once in that, and now here I am on this path. I believe this is for a reason. My people believe this is for a reason that we're on this path. And we're going to follow this through until we find out the reason. And that's it's that simple, man. It's that simple. It's that simple. Now people can speculate and judge me all they want, but they the ones fooling themselves because the Bible said, don't judge. I'm judged. Only God, he said, I'm the judge. Why are you judging? What did I tell you? You never judge. You never, ever judge. Because if you do that, that's not one of the fruits of God's Holy Spirit. God said, I'm alone as judge. I didn't tell you to judge nobody. I'm judge. So I want people to judge me. 
Because when they do judge me, they not following the Lord. Because you taking his job. He told you not to judge. So, there you go with that. Good luck with that. I'm on we on a spiritual path around here. We're going to see where the fuck it lead us. And I mean that. Language, bad language, and every fucking thing, dude. I put the microphone up to the fucking computer at certain time. I think it's funny. Anyway, guys, I ain't gonna stay on here long. I just came on here just to talk some shit, dude. Now I'm about to get out of here. It's too bad I can't, right? You know, it's a time for everything, y'all. We got a show next week. But I'm working. And because I'm working, guys... Because I'm working, I start talking this really spiritual and shit. Because this documentary I'm working on, you see. So, I'm, I'm, forgive me. What I'm trying to say is forgive me if I sound um, distasteful to you guys. You know, we have fun on RVT. But I told you guys before that... We are going to get serious from time to time. And this ain't serious. This is just bullshit. This is fucking religious nonsense we in right now. I'm talking right now. And I want you guys to listen to it. That's why I said y'all free to go. Y'all not stuck here to listen to me, guys. Y'all not. Y'all can go anytime y'all want, dude. Just go. It's a free world. You can go. See, you can't break the law. You're not, in my case, I'm from the United States of America. You cannot break the law and expect God's approval. You can't do it. Because there is no law unless God approves it. Believe that shit. Dude. Believe it. Believe it. You got to respect the law. And work. When you live every day, do it like you're living for the Lord, don't do it for man, do it for the Lord. All that is in the scriptures, guys, all of it. Go outside on the river. See, I never seen, we, we got our own songs. Dude. We got our own songs. We got our own fucking shit. And I'm not even going to, I never share my stuff on social media with you guys. I'm never going to do it. Because social media is for entertainment. But I will let you see how, yeah, we will let you see our spiritual bullshit. Like now, we'll let you see our spiritual bullshit. But I'll never get serious with y'all on social media. Because faith is too strong for, no, for some damn social media. Spirituality is too strong for social media. But I'll give you some words and we'll give you some little spiritual bullshit like right now. But in a nutshell, this shit ain't happening. Dude. Yes, indeed, man. This life right here, you never know what's going to happen. You never know what's going to happen, and it's a life of all lives, dude. And that is living with a purpose of seeing what's at the end of the rainbow. Right now, we're on the rainbow, and we're seeing that at the end of it, is it a pot of gold? If not, then we're still together living, so maybe later on, if not. You see how it works? 
We can't lose. The way we're doing our compound, we can't lose. Unless we lose our life, then we still can't lose because the Bible speaks of a resurrection. You see the point? So, this is good enough for us, dude. This is good enough for us. And I've been on the streets. I mean, I, I've been through all that fucking shit, dude. I have, man. Nobody understands me. I got betrayed by the Bible. God doesn't love me. I've been through all that fucking shit. All of it. That's why I never quote from the Bible. If y'all notice, Rashid never quotes from the Bible. And I say, I think that's at Deuteronomy 15 verse 13. It says, I never quote like that. The book of Mark, verse 3, I never talk like that. Because out of respect for the Christian organization, that's their language. Every now and then I will say, I think it's in the book of this. Yup, or I think, or 1 Corinthians, whatever. Every now and then I will do that. But I never do that because that's Christian talk. I'm talking of someone who came from that. I'm not a Christian, dude. We're not Christians. We came from that, dude. Now, we're just who we are. We're just people. All of that to us is over. You know, that was the old world. That was when we was waiting for Armageddon. That's when, that's when we was waiting for the great tribulation to start. That's when we was waiting for this. It's no more waiting. Now we're just living. Now we're told you. Now we're just living. For some reason, we're living. And we're going to see where this goes. It's that simple. I mean, you got to. It's that simple, dude. It's that easy. And we're going to see what happens. We're curious to see what happens. It's better than that fucking life I was in, dude. I'm to thinking it's the only fucking life. Thinking that when I die, then I die. When I die, and that's it. And if there's a God, if there's a heaven, if there's a hell. See, I ain't got to wonder about none of that shit no more. I ain't got to do it, man. And I feel much better about this. I feel really good about this. Really good. This is, this is amazing here. It really is, dude. It really is. So, I'm not going to keep you guys. I know y'all got things to do and all. And I'm going to let y'all go. And I got the show coming up. And y'all going to really enjoy it. We're going to have some fun. And this is because, this right here is because, of course, she, um, Sadisians in particular. Because this is Shison and our father. And I wanted to come on and talk shit to you guys. Because y'all know dad talks shit. And we want something to, to fill our ears up with. And that's what this is. And we had a nice time. And have a nice evening. Have a nice day tomorrow. And again, I'm sorry. For now I'm talking to the normal people now. Um, she, um, Sadiq, she, no. Um... I'm sorry that I couldn't talk now positive about Memorial Day, but I don't see Memorial Day. I don't see Memorial Day the way the world see it. I see lack of appreciation. You know, I see a lot of things, but I'm not going to put my views of Memorial Day with this society. I am not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. I'm more than appreciate what was done in my behalf so I can do what I'm doing now. I'm more than appreciate that. I'm going to show it. I'm not going to talk this shit. And nobody nobody talks about nothing no more. And that's the end thing now. Thanks to thanks to that that them partners there is this partner and that and that's I don't want to get into that stupid ass shit. But guys, I'm not going to do it. But I still hope y'all had a nice uh, holiday. And um, we got shiesa. It's that simple, dude. We got shiesa. And you guys have fun with 
whatever it is that y'all y'all do. Uh, and I'll be talking to you guys later. How about that? Stay close to me, guys, because we're going to have some fun, all right? See ya.